Welcome back. Where have you guys been? <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been a long month. So I thought I would try something different. Uh, I think I'm live. Anyway, hi, Stitch It Pam. So here I am. It's been a long month. Um, I switched my calendar so I can't see all my days, but I have been out of here since the 5th, I think was the last time that I actually did a live in my cra craft room. Um, yeah, I gotta turn my volume down. There. Ah, I think we're the only ones here. I have some lurkers I can see. But I don't see anyone else. <laughs> but that's okay. So I started camera up because I just wanted to. I'm 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 trying this out with the double camera thing. <laughs> we'll see how well um, it works. But um, my thing was, hey, Delise, how are you? Welcome in. So I have happy mail and stuff that I want to show. And um, I have a new thing that I'm doing with <clears throat> some um, gratitude cards that I'm going to start on the first Tuesdays, the first live of the month, pretty much. Yeah, it's been almost a month. Um, but I wanted to kind of recap how my trip went. Hi, Robin. <laughs> And um, let you guys know that I was thinking of you. I was dying to be in my craft room. <laughs> but I did have a good time. I saw lots of things, um, went a lot of places. And the trip was what it was supposed to be, which was very zenful, um, a time for both of us to reflect and um, spend time with people that we cherish pretty much. So we got to see, meet, I got to meet um, new new friends, and um, Willie did too. We, I had a friend of his that I met for the first time, and I also met Judy for the first time, and he met Judy, but then um, the rest of the people we knew. <laughs> so, but it was really cool. Um, when we left out on Wednesday night, we went to the bus station. Uh, my daughter picked us up and we went to the bus station and we took the eight o'clock bus to Boston Logan. And I did do a live from the airport because I was so lost, guys. I thought for sure that um, I couldn't find the gate. So <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but I was panicking. I sat down and started eating my um, airplane candy. <laughs> hey, Mary. Hey, Melissa. Hi, Elizabeth. Hopefully I don't miss anyone. I'm trying a new setup tonight. So hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I don't miss anyone. <laughs> you guys know I love you. If I miss you, <laughs> I, 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 I will go back and find you. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we got to the airport at 10 p.m. Well, apparently the gates close. Like there's no security after a certain time at night. So that's why I couldn't find my gate because duh, if I would have thought about it, it's been a while since I've flown. You have to go through security and there was no security you know, place to go into security or whatever. <clears throat> hey, Susan. Um, thank you, Raiders. Thank you, Debbie J. So anyway, um, I tried to get rest. So did Willie. But, um, didn't really happen well. So the, we found out from uh, this nice guy at the Dunkin' Donuts um, stand, which was open 24 hours, thank goodness. Um, he told us that security opened at 3 a.m. So, you know, me, instead of just waiting till morning, as soon as it was 3 a.m., I'm like, come on, Willie, let's go check in. <laughs> so we did got through gate and then we just had to wait some more but on the other side but i thought my thinking was once we're through security maybe i could get a nap <laughs> nope didn't happen cuz i feel like it's well my thinking was it would be a little more secure you know once you get through security 
and uh, that I could sleep until our nine o'clock flight didn't happen. So at like, I don't know, 6.30, I'm like, let me see if I can go find breakfast because <laughs> there was all the restaurants and all the food places and uh, they were prepping and getting things ready, but nothing was open until seven. <sighs> so anyway, we finally got out of there and landed in Myrtle Beach at noon. My friend Sarah picked us up and we stayed with her. That was a Thursday. So we stayed with her until Monday morning. And I set up the car rental and all that on Friday, got everything ready. And we picked the car up on Monday morning and left out from Myrtle Beach and drove five and a half hours across the state to a little town called Belton. That is where Willie's friend Chris and his wife Joy um, live. They're both original from long, originally from Long Island. Uh, Chris was actually Willie's childhood friend. So, um, so we hung out with them until Monday. And we headed out Monday um, and headed for Judy's, which was a 10 and a half hour drive to Florida. But we have to consider stopping and pee breaks and stretch the legs and all that stuff. And we had lunch. So it took us 13 and a half hours because <laughs> I was tired. <laughs> so um, we left at 6 a.m. and got to Judy's at 7.30. Well, then we went out to dinner, did all that jazz. That was on Thursday. Did I say Thursday? No, we left out. Monday to Thursday, and then got to Judy's Thursday night. And then um, we stayed to Ju stayed at Judy's until Monday. Yes, we had pit stops to lease. <laughs> um, and you guys, I don't know if I've disclosed it on my lives or not, but I have severe anxiety, severe anxiety, and a multitude of other things that I was really happy here at home under my blanket in fort with my head under the pillow <laughs> so to get out and get in amongst the world and especially driving a rental car wasn't a car it wasn't a car i was familiar with which was a nice little car actually it was a a, a 2023 I believe might have been a 2024, but it was super new. It had it had only 20,000 miles. Yes, Pam. So crazy, right? So um, for me to get out and think about driving, I was just like, ah. And and I started thinking, what was I thinking? Thinking I wanted to drive the whole trip from Maine to Florida. <laughs> so I'm glad we flew to Myrtle Beach at least, and then we only had you know the rest of the part to drive <laughs> so and we were going to um drive to florida and return the rental car but myrtle beach wouldn't allow their cars to go one way so they dropped it on me when i called them that i had to bring the car back there if i wanted and it was like that with almost all the companies except for two and their rental prices were out of this world so i was like well looks like plans are changed we're having we got to drive back to Myrtle Beach and Willie's like what <laughs> what I'm like yep so um we got to Judy's we stayed at her house from Thursday spent the weekend her um that weekend was the weekend I had planned to be with her because it was her birthday weekend on the 16th and we spent that day and St. Patty's Day and we left out Monday morning for Fort Myers well those plans got a little joggled boggled joggled whatever <sighs> and willie's friend that we were supposed to meet there didn't get the time off work because he wasn't quite sure accord from what he had talked to willie uh, from when he had talked to willie about what when he was actually going to be there well <laughs> and funny story the same thing happened with his friend chris and joy too and i was like listen have joy text me hey pam Hi, Janine. Um, so we ended up driving to Fort Myers. Um, we left a little later on Monday because it took an hour and a half to get there from Judy's and he was going to get out of work at noon. So we had a little bit of time that we could like wake up and 
um, whatnot. So we drove down there, we hung out and had lunch with him, drove back to Judy's, spent the night. Thank goodness for Judy letting us come back because not only was it spring break, it was spring training for the Red Sox and whoever else. And hi, Dahlia, long time no see, girl. How you doing? Um, so there were no there were no hotels, like free. So I panicked. So then I was like, had arranged it with Judy that um, she's like, yeah, sure, you can come back for the night, spend the night. And I was like, cool, thank you so much. So um, we drove back, we left out the next morning, Willie and I decided he wanted to go to the planetarium. So we went to a place called Calusa Nature Center and Planetarium in Fort Myers. And uh, I get it, busy, busy here too. Uh, starting to relax, thank goodness. Whew. Um, we did that until um, the planetarium show ended at like 1.15 and his friend Mike was out of work at noon already. So we met him at his house and hung out there and played with remote control cars um, for a few hours until his daughter got out of work and his wife. And then we met them um, downtown and had dinner and we drove back to Judy's. The next morning, which was Wednesday morning, we left out early again and headed for Georgia, which was where Willie's uncle and aunt live. And we spent a few days there and then headed out to back to, we had a little time because my friend Sarah had texted and said she was not feeling well. So take your time. So I said, okay, <laughs> I'll, we'll take our time. So I said, message your friend Chris and tell him we have extra time. So if he wants us to swing back in for a couple days, we will. So we did, which was good because there was some places they had wanted to take us. But you guys, when you get to a place on a Monday and you've driven, you're tired. By the time you get, we got there, it was like dinner time, right? You spend the next day busy because they take you where they want you to see all the things and you spend all day out uh, sightseeing and having dinner and whatnot. And then the next day, is kind of a rest day I need. So I take the rest day before leaving out the following morning. So it was exactly the way we wanted it though. It was, it seemed rushed, but not it. I kind of just rushed slowly. <laughs> so, Hey D. Um, oh yeah. And I got to meet D in person too. We had a little secret when, uh, we got to Judy's on Thursday, Thursday night, we went to bed, but then I think was it Thursday? It was Friday. Um, we went to the pizza place and we met up with Pam PJB Stamper, who was in the chat. Um, she had surprised um, us and took a red eye into Flor Bradenton and um, met us for dinner on Friday night. So um, Dee didn't tell Judy that she was coming. She Judy thought Dee was going to show up on Saturday. Um, to go to Pink and Maine with us. And she ended up showing up at dinner and surprised Judy. I knew she was coming though. <laughs> Hi, Lola. So, um, so anyway, um, yeah, so we swung back into Chris and Joy's and spent a few days there. And um, we left out Monday morning and went back to Myrtle Beach. And I got everything I needed to get done while I was there. I had to clean the rental car. I had to do my laundry. I had to pack up everything we had collected over the past three weeks, box things up, ship it home to myself, and then um, rest on Wednesday before we took our flight. Um, uh, Thursday, we had to return the car at 10 a.m. and then went straight over to the airport because our flight was supposed to leave at one and came home. <laughs> so it was pretty cool. It was a pretty long trip. I'm glad to be home. Um, I was tired, even though I kind of took things slow. Just the different cultures that we um, went in and out of along our journey. But I did realize one thing that every person that every person that we meet has something to teach us. That was what I kind of took from the trip. Um, Willie and I took like the last leg of our driving from Belton to Myrtle Beach and we kind of reflected on the whole trip and the people that we saw and all the things. And yes, <laughs> Pam did warn us a few days before. 
<laughs> she did. Um, uh, yeah, so everyone has something to teach us. But also I noticed as I moved, as we moved along from place to place and spent time with each family in their homes, in their space, in their environment, just how grateful to like every day, no matter what, there's something to be grateful for. And I really um, recognize that with things about home. It was almost like a trip for me to grieve because um, those of you that might be here that didn't know in February, I lost my aunt and that's what kind of, well, we kind of planned this trip, but it was like the timing was just, I don't know, the universe just lined everything up like so oddly. Um, yes, me too, Lala. Um, yes, Pam, the birthday party crasher. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, um, it was um it was really cool to just think about that stuff and i really it really triggered something in me that yes um through that devastating situation with my aunt and stuff there was so much to be grateful for speaking of i haven't seen my cousin troy he was going to i don't know where he is he was supposed to be here <laughs> but anyway um that was one of the things that i was so grateful for even in this like that sad, sad time was that it reunited me to my cousin Troy and my youngest daughter, who I hadn't seen either in years. Well, my youngest daughter I hadn't seen in almost four years, but my cousin Troy had been 10 at least. So, so it was kind of cool um, to think about that. And I kind of thought about it, you know, when you have that, there's like, you feel comfortable when you go to people's houses, but there's always this little ounce of uncomfortableness because it's not home, right? So you learn to be grateful for all those things. Like I, I was thinking about how I'm so sick of this with the house. I'm so sick of that, the house and grumpy about maybe my bed or, you know, different things. But then from all the places that we were, I thought about, my gosh, I can't wait to get home and sleep in my bed. <laughs> as much as I hate my bed sometimes. <laughs> but anyway, it was really cool. And it really gave me um, a lot of time to grieve and to reflect and to just be grateful. And hopefully I can share that with you guys. And I, so I, I did pull out this um, deck of cards I have. It's moments of gratitude. And I want to start doing pulling these cards on the first live each month just as a kind of um reminder to kind of reflect and to kind of bring happier days maybe kind of set the intentions for each month i just started work again two weeks ago today i go to the chiropractor was getting dressed to see the chiropractor and david noticed a rash on my left shoulder on my back chiropractor confirmed oh yes that judy has shingles poor judy i'm sorry judy <laughs> she told willie and uh he's like that just ruined my day <laughs> so anyway i hope you guys don't mind i wanted to be able to explain and say all the things and i kind of compiled my three and a half weeks into two and a half minutes of just a quick slideshow of places where we started on the trip all the way through it of just little clips of things that we might have seen or did or went and the people we saw um along the way and if if everyone's okay with it i want to i squeezed it into two and a half minutes can you guys handle watching like a two and a half minute slideshow <laughs> Who's down for that? <clears throat> I thought it might be neat to, uh, oh my, I know it's painful too, hopefully. Oh yes, oh Lala, I felt so bad when she told me that. Um, okay, here we go. Oh, Pam, I didn't put you in it because I didn't ask, so I didn't, I didn't put you in it. All right, let me see if I can figure this out because this is all new to me. But I put it in my brain that, you know what, I, I, I made myself drive 
I can make myself try to figure this um, techie stuff out. <laughs> Let me see. See if it works like I want it to. There you have it. <laughs> My whole trip in two and a half minutes. <laughs> oh, yes. Wasn't the sunset just gorgeous? That was like one of my most favorite things on the trip. Um, yeah, I love it. So, all right. I'm going to attempt to go desk down camera down so we can see how this is going to work let's see um there we go okay can you guys hear me oh you're welcome lala Yes, it was super fun. Oops, I think I might have some. Bloop. All right, let's do this. Can you guys see and hear me? Hi, Echo. Yes, Dee, it was amazing. It was so fun. Welcome in, Echo. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, well, I'm going to do that in a different video. But anyway, um, much better. Okay, I thought so. <laughs> All right, so first I want to show some happy mail that I returned home to, which I was excited about. These are little um, Easter bits that I got from Jim. That he made me, and I think, yep. This is really cool. <clears throat> and you guys can probably see this on my desk. This is <laughs> this is a mini pancake maker, which is Jim's fault also. So this is a little um, mixed media piece. And let me see if I can bring my camera in. 
Oh, focus, focus. Let's see. And he did it with, I want to say this is enamel, like uh, embossing enamel, maybe. I'm not sure. I kind of asked, and he was like, it's an ancient Chinese secret. So this was the same thing that he did, these bunnies. They're amazing. I wish you guys could see better. I don't know. I don't know how to get this. Let me see if I can bring it down more. Ooh, can you guys see that any better? I wish I, the shine would show up. I have missed you guys. I have missed you too, Echo. I watched you for a bit last night and then I fell asleep. And this Easter egg, you guys. Oh, look at that. But these bunnies, they're done with, um, I want to say it's like um, embossing enamel. Really cool. And then another egg. And these are, um, you know, that, is it balsa wood or a little, I don't know, something like that. Super cool. But look at that shine. Can you guys see? Ooh -wee. And did I already show this one? Yes, I did. So thank you, Jim. I love them. I'm going to find a permanent home for them so that I can look at them always. And then I received this lovely card from Cordelia. Now I can probably go out. There we go. Um, I love it. Thank you, Cordelia. It's beautiful. I love it. I don't know who th these are from. I'm wondering if it's Spellbinder. She didn't say, but so pretty. Okay. So I got some things, you guys. I don't remember showing you guys before I left that I had signed up for um, celebrations delivered through, hi, hola, Maritza, um, through SCT. But um, I did. I signed up for the last fall when we did the Crop and Create. I signed up for the Celebrations Delivered and got this really cool stamp set. It was all about celebrations. And I just thought I would show you guys, like, kind of what the kit was. And I think, did I get, I, I think I have cards down, down below. Um, but I want to show you what comes in it. If anybody's ever interested in doing some of this, this was a one-day class. I think there were three instructors. Um, yes, there were three instructors, Mindy Egan, Kathy Zilski, and Megan Andrews. Megan Andrew, I think. Her, I can't remember if there's an S on that or not. But anywho, so um, we got this. these dies. Um, and got this cover plate die that's like quilted. I love it. Um, and then all of these dies. We got um, the dies that match the sentiments that came, you know, all the I'm trying to think which way. I know they match. <laughs> there we go. So all of these match um, these sentiments. And then there's the dye sentiments and shadows for those also, in case you can't see there, because I stick them together. Um, so it was a really good value for the cost of the class. I want to say it was like $60 for the class. And it has everything from birthday, graduation, baby, wedding. Um, and new home neighbor so really really cool class classes event i guess i should call it <clears throat> and oh and i included the stamp stamp set so all those guys in the stamp set oh and she they send you the paper um the cardstock for the bases and stuff that you need You don't get the card stock or the ink or anything like that. There's no bells and whistles as far as um, like there was for Crop and Create. Oh, that's my card that I made before I left. So these were the cards that I created from the, from the event. 
a baby card. Um, they did tell you the colors and the inks and stuff, and you had to find your own paper. So, you know, everybody that does this is going to have a little different unless they have the same papers. But it was really cool. Yeah, I, it was a really neat event, uh, Delise. I love it. Yeah, I like the sentiments with shadow dyes too, Lala. Having a celebration stamp and a die set to stamp. That's right. That's right. I love the dies for the little houses. Those were fun. And this one, this one was cute. And then this one. So there were, th I think, three cards for each class. So nine cards for that event. So that was fun. So then that was pre-vacation, pre but I didn't. I don't think I got a chance to share because there were a few weeks that I missed out on prior to me leaving um, due to life stuff, you know. So um, I went on my trip, I went to Pink and Maine and I picked out, I had set aside $100 for myself to use for, for, um, crafts when I went to because I knew I was going to go to Pink and Maine and I bought well I actually only bought three Willie bought one because <laughs> he was a good sport and um, good partner and went to into Pink and Maine <laughs> but I got the cute little owl set that I had been wanting for a few months since I've seen it actually um, this one I missed out. It's an Easter set, but I'm going to try to figure out how I can use it for spring. Um, this set I love too. Yeah, isn't, aren't the owls adorable? I just love those chubby little things. Oh my gosh, yeah. And then this is the set that Willie picked out because he kind of sort of relates to Chili Willie, the penguin. So, hey, WJ, welcome in. Thanks for the raid. Um, so I thought this was cute and I didn't notice until after the fact that it was, um, they really are chili penguins because <laughs> it's the summer, it's a summer set. So I was so happy about that. So these, this is, um, these are the stamps that I got myself. And then I bought myself the Enchanted Garden um, paper pad, which was very pretty. I thought it was appropriate for spring. So, yeah. So I went well under my budget of the $100. So I was happy. That's all I got there. And then Dee gifted me this, which was really cool. I love these arches. Um, and Judy gifted me this, which was the stamp of the month, which was adorable with the matching dies. And I'm seeing everyone using it and I'm so excited. So I can, um, I can make some stuff too now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> She got to go to Pink and Maine with her birthday present. That was me. <laughs> I was her birthday present. <laughs> and then Judy, um, she's always so gracious and giving. Just if you ever see her out on the streets, make sure to say hi to her because she's such a nice friend to have. Um, well, you all are nice friends, but Judy's got a big heart. And she always puts things that she goes through that she doesn't think she'll use. This one she said she would not use. So, hey, T. Yeah, let's make something together. I've been dying to go live with people. <laughs> um, so she asked if I'd be interested in it. And I was like, of course. So. I got this one and this one I love. It's got all of the sewing notions. I'm not sure. I guess that's just what it's called, sewing. But um really cool. 
I do too, Lala. I think it's beautiful. I can't wait to play with it. And then this one I loved. Um, oh, I still love. It's Mermaising Coffee, which is how much more perfect can you get with mermaids and coffee together? So I love the there's a little mermaid incorporated into each cup. And my light is horrible. I don't know if I can if it will mess it up if I turn this off. Is this better? I don't know. I'm trying to see. And then some extra stuff. Um, the designer that makes these. I don't. I don't know. Um, Judy might know. And then um, she gets extra. This this is a pink and main dye. It says happy with the shadow. And then um, sometimes Judy loves lawn fun, and she just shops lawn fun all the time. That Judy. And sometimes she thinks she doesn't have something, and then she does. But I'm like, return it. And she's like, no, I'll just stick it in a box for you. So she got me this, the little beehive. It might be Mommy Lay. She does more of the kawaii. Kawaii, I don't know if I say that right. Um, yeah, and that's it, too. Like, this one was too detailed for Judy, she said. And this one, and you know, Judy, I was looking at this when I got home and I was unpacking everything. I I might have this, but I know you've said in the past if I have something to just um, pass it forward. So I'm going to double check, but I think I have this. But this is a cute little Christmas one. And then this is a new one, and she ended up with an extra of this. Um, it's Celebrate Veg veggies so simply celebrate veggies <laughs> but it's so cute and then um her and d were going through things and i guess there was an extra of this one which was the build a greenhouse and i thought it would be perfect with the little veggies i mean it comes with flowers and plants but i think it'll work with the veggies too right spring so i'm excited to try these so that was that um oh and guess what you guys i found i'm telling you i love marketplace i found a judy i think i told you about it and i didn't call the guy and um the christmas one is on your wish list like this one you mean what christmas one? Oh, this one with the tree Yep, the bunnies. Oh, um, no, you have the bunnies. Yep, the bunnies. Wait, I'm lost. That Christmas one is on my wish list. I'm lost. Celebration one. Okay, tell me later. <laughs> this is Christmas. Oh, and this is Trinity Stamps. This was another one. This was Christmas, too. And I'm going to say this one might have been too detailed for Judy also. Okay. Oh, the long fun. Well, I'll check. And if, it, if it's something I have, um, Elizabeth, I'll send it your way. Um, and then um, this set was from Judy called Only Time, which I thought was very pretty love it friendship lightens every burden and makes the sunshine brighter i love it heidi grace designs and this was another one that was so cute oh maybe i can do this you'll see it better with the little turtles and they're almost like i don't know they remind me of zentangle they're not really but i guess the circles remind me of of it but it's pretty cool i love it and this one's called turtle crossing and it's even got a little bee in there. I saw a little bee. I thought, oh, maybe I didn't. I thought I saw a bee. I guess it was just a butterfly. But anyway, so that's that. And then she had a bunch of miscellaneous stuff that she had gone through from her close to my heart stash, some snowflakes, pinwheels, and such. 
And then I got this beauty from D. And it is a TN notebook. And I told her, I was like, oh, it's just what I need. Because, ooh, tacos. Mm. Oh, the Christmas tree was done with that group we're in with D. Okay, gotcha. Um, anyway, I am going to use this and I'm going to make a memory book of my trip. I'm going to put notes. I'm going to, I have tons of receipts and little slips and little ephemera and memorabilia things. And it even has a space for the calendar. So I'm going to make it a March calendar. And I guess it's got a few calendar spots, but I can probably add extra things or something. I don't know. But I just thought it was perfect with the little pockets and all that. And then my daughter suggested you should keep this one as a template, mom, and you should just make another one. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, that's a good idea, too. So I'm in love with this. And then Judy had stuck in my box. Oh, actually, the weekend before I got there, she had gone to the Scrapbook Expo in Orlando. And she took a class that where she made an altered golden book. I was so excited. Hi, Yvette. Welcome in. Oh, Dee, I love it. Um, so I just was over the moon excited when I saw this. I told Judy, I'm like, I can't even believe it. It's just so perfect that she knew I made these and that she took a class so that she could make one and gift it to me, which I just thought was like such a wonderful gesture. And I'm in love with it. And she gave me all the extra papers um, that she didn't use so that I could dress it up some more if I wanted to and fix it up the way, you know, it will work for me because I'm definitely keeping this and I'm going to use it. And um, and she also gifted me the fabric um, that was left over from the spine. Isn't that amazing, Elizabeth? I was just like in awe. I think I've flipped through this over a dozen times already. I love it how she added the envelope, the bag, the tag, all of it, just all of it, and even binding it. And look, she left the string long enough I can put a charm on there. But anyway, I love it. Thank you so much, Judy. You did an amazing job. And let me see. Oh, yeah, this was the other thing. So she packed up because <laughs> what she does is has a box. And I talked to her tonight when I, she told me she had shingles. And she said, I already came across some more stuff for you. <laughs> she 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 does, she does plays Build-A-Box. <laughs> so she takes a box and starts filling it up and uh, ships it. <clears throat> Except I shipped the last one. I told her, well, there's no sense in you shipping it. I'll just ship it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all napkins because she knows that I love napkins and doing napkin like decoupage and artsy stuff. <clears throat> I agree, Lala. Hi, T. I think I said hi in case I forgot. Look at this one. I love it. I love the paint splots, but I love the mermaid. So these are going to be so fun. And a lot of fall and Halloween ones. I love these spiders. Sorry, everybody look away, those that can't do spiders. But aren't they cute? Little bats and some fall leaves. Jingles, hi Angela. Is it? Yeah, Angela. I haven't seen you. You would have. <gasps> hi Guru. Hi you guys. I haven't seen you guys in so long. Also watching the weather guy. I know. I should be watching the weather guy too. Okay, so here's another thing. Oh, and Judy popped this stencil in. It was something she had three of them. She's like, I don't know how I got three, but here's one for you. <laughs> 
So I thought that'll be cool. They kind of look like waves. So I thought it'd be fun with the uh, mermaid and the ocean stuff that I got. And I don't know if you guys, I think I told you guys I won a gift on the SCT blog for the 12 weeks or 12 days of giving or whatever. And one of my um, wins was um, the Stamps of Life, a year's worth of the stamp of the month for Stamps of Life. And I, I don't remember that I showed you guys them yet, but this was January's super cute the little get well and the band-aids and it and i loved it because i saw pink and main had a set that came out in january too and it had little band-aids and i was like oh i want that and then i got this this was february's the little floral wreath and then i got marches right as i was leaving um for my trip it came in actually the day that we were leaving which was the butterflies, which I thought was really cool because that was my aunt's most favorite thing was butterflies. So um, what else? Oh, I was telling you the story before I saw a squirrel that um, I love Facebook Marketplace. It can be a horrible, I guess, experience for some, but it can be a great thing too. And I think I told you guys I found my scan and cut on Marketplace. Well, Judy. I called the, I messaged the guy about the Anna Griffin Empress. I found one and he had it listed for $125. And I noticed when I got home, I, I didn't get it. I saw it before I left and I was like, Hmm, okay, well I have my vacation money in my account. Maybe I could just take that and, 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 um, go get it. But I didn't, I saw it. No, I'm, I'm, going on vacation. If it's still there when I get back, I'll think about it. It was, and he had marked it down to $100. So I messaged him and I'm supposed to go get it on Sunday. And it's not the mini, it's the full size Empress. Brand new in the box. He said his aunt passed away and had tons of craft stuff. A lot of it was still new in the box things. And I was like, well, does it work? And he was like, well, it's new in the box and I don't know how to work it. So hopefully you do. <laughs> so yeah, I couldn't believe it. I was like $100. I should totally grab that because I think new the full size ones are anywhere between like 215 and 270 depending on where you look. So I told Willie since I didn't spend my budget. <laughs> yes, yeah, not nice the aunt, aunt, aunt pass. That's right. Okay, so here we are. We're going to take a moment of gratefulness. And I have this cool little antique-ish looking um, card deck holder. It was probably for canasta or some something, something. I don't know. But I'm using it for my grateful card so I have a discard side. So I don't repeat anything. But we're going to do one. So this will last me a year, 52 weeks. <clears throat> and this is it. Our moments of gratitude we can take, I'll take a moment to reflect. Name a gift that you received that holds special meaning. Well, I have several. Probably the, probably the most meaningful gift that I have that I, that I hold are um, things that I have pieces of artwork, like little clay pots, and I, I do have some pictures, but mostly the kids made these little pinch pot, pots in um, art class, and I still have those. And I use them, I love them. Um, and I wanna say that's probably one of my most cherished gifts that I still have because I still have it. I still have them. Judy, the sly little that she is, um, purchased this, and I, I know why. She wants me to do it with her. She got me the crafty courtyard kit for March, which comes with all the colors. You guys probably, I know Kendra usually does this every month, 
So she may have done it. I haven't really had a lot of time yet to get go perusing on YouTube because I've been trying to get stuff done since I got home. And then I had a wonderful Easter dinner with my daughter and my cousin Troy. Oh, you have it? Awesome tea. So comes with the little um, shaker covers, which I thought were super cool. Little pockets that you, in the, in the sequins. And this, I was like, ooh, it's a pick, pick up and place tool. It's so pretty. It's like rose gold. And one end is the waxy thing. And I love that Michelle included the two waxy extra tips. So you get, I thought I just had two tips, but I opened it and have one on it. So that's pretty awesome. And then a pokey tool on the other end. You're in love with their paper? Yeah, me too. I saw this and was like, Ooh, what? Because do you remember, T? I told you I went to the, I, I think I showed you guys. I went to the Dollar Tree and look at the paper. Those of you that have a Dollar Tree around you, check it out. A dollar twenty-five store. And I heard it's going up actually, Willie told me. But this was one of their paper packs for a for dollar twenty-five. so pretty well when i opened this with judy i looked and i was like oh my gosh it's almost the same kind of paper except this one has all of the bubbles like the ink bubbles you know so pretty so i was so excited oh, hey kelly welcome in i'm doing much better much better and i'm feeling rested i even got home and started the week off right with a physical my annual physical yesterday <laughs> and then here's the stamp set that came with the crafty courtyard really cool bundle of presents a cake balloons and candles so super awesome so i'm excited to play with this i i can't wait and i hadn't touched anything well i'm kind of glad i didn't dig in before my live anyway, because I, it gave me time to get stuff done, right? What time is it? I've been ranting for almost an hour. <laughs> wow. Does anybody else have anything to say? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you the rabbit hole that Jim's like, ha last night, like, welcome down the rabbit hole. <laughs> so, um, I got the mini pancake maker. And this is what I did. I took just regular die cuts that I had because I, I didn't have any, I couldn't find any wooden things and I did eventually find some, but I wish you could see the sparkle. My lighting is horrible, but um, oh my gosh. So I just stuck these in and I even, experimented and i used the foundry wax on this one because i thought hey the foundry wax that gets color um oh t you went down the hole too <laughs> yes i'm not alone <laughs> yes i like the whole set i do like the wonky presents i like the candles too oh yes good pam <laughs> Um. So I started playing and I just, I couldn't stop. I kept sending Jim pictures and I'm like, look, look, look at what I did now. <laughs> so, um, but I tried the foundry wax and it worked out really cool. Like, do you see that metallic, metallic -y look? It's really neat. Um, so I did that. I added different types of, I, I took all of my, oh, let's see if I can move some stuff here. Out of the way. Um, so I took all my embossing powders and I put them on a little tray and I turned them upside down so I could see the colors and I just went to town and I have this little tool. Where's the tool? Here's the tool. I don't know what it's for. I think it was one of those scratch things my kids had, you know, that reveals the 
colors or gold or something underneath those pictures you can get and you scratch them but anyway um so i just scooped out little bits and i just started putting them down on things so yeah i think i might end up with an obsession with embossing powders now and this is just parchment paper on a roll and my uh spellbinder circle die ended up fitting it so it fits right inside of the um pancake maker and this was just playing around with little blobs of it, just putting it on. The back's not so pretty, but um, just putting a little powder. I used Ultra Thick, um, the UT, also, along with some of my colors. This one ended up a fail. I wasn't happy, so I put it back on, and I remelted it, and I put some sprinkles of um, this stuff. It's like uh, something my kids had in their makeup collection, but it had, like, mica in it. Um, so I wanted to try it out. <clears throat> and then I took Perfect Pearls and I rubbed it on the backs of this. I have the Interference Green and the Interference Blue. But I did the same thing with these, only I added, I got out my glitter bin and I used some glitters and little chunky glitters and um, melted everything. And it, I just love it. Lick it. <laughs> no, I'm not licking it. <laughs> Oh, your parchment well mine mine did two t it was kind of curled you know so i kind of just um put it in there and i had my little tool and my tweezers and i kind of just let it i put the stuff on and kind of held it for a minute and then eventually it it just flattened out but show it who's boss you know <laughs> But yes, yeah, so I added glitter. I took different glitters that I had because I have also a bin full of glitter. Close your eyes, Pam, my Swiffer, but um, and my lint roller, <laughs> all my all my things to collect the glitter. But I have all this different stuff that's like the real chunky glitter. This was cracked glass by Pink and Main that I got in the advent box last year. This one I used in the blue. It's got little stars and stuff. But then I used um, some super fine and more, you know, different, all the different sizes. And I kind of mixed them in. It was really cool. Um, but I was trying to think of other things, too, like maybe seed beads, those little or the little glass beads that we used to get in 1902. Um, but, yeah, I love the green, too. The green with the gold so that was fun so i just played oh and then i tried it on a die with some of the powders that i have that i haven't used that i found at the thrift shop these were all old stampin stampin up uh embossing powders so I, I took out the sage and i did a little fern die cut this is a die cut by hero arts and then these were a bunch of like those little wooden pieces that I got. I forgot I had them. And when I did my organization, I found them. And then I forgot I had them. And then last night I was like, I know I have wood pieces somewhere. But they were like meant for, they have stickers on them. So they were on a, a board. But I did a pineapple and I just dipped it. I covered it in the Versa mark and then um, dipped it in the gold and then in the sage. And I have another color. It's called topiary, <clears throat> but super, super cool. Oh, enjoy your tacos. Hey, Jen, welcome in. I really hope all the glass bottles make it over there. The glass bottles? All of it. It's Blossom's problem now. Uh-oh. <laughs> I missed something. Um... Oh, what am I doing? I am. Ooh, ooh. There goes my camera. Um, I am just doing show and tell, actually. <laughs> show and tell. What I've been uh, sticking my feet in and showing things I got while I was away for the month of March. And I'll be playing more with that. <laughs> And I can't wait till um, next week because I'll have um, I'll have the Empress to play with, so that'll be fun. Oh, and um, 
I don't know. Anyway, no sound. I got the manatee stamps from the USPS. Oh, sound is bad. Okay, must have been a little glitchy. All right. Well, anyway, that's all I got for you guys tonight. That was my big, um, that was my big whopping live tonight. <laughs> uh, let's go back to solo. And we'll go here. So what were you doing with the dash? Oh, um, so I am in, I am. I have been melting embossing powder in it and making little things. I don't have anything. I'm trying to think if I have something. I mean, I can show you guys. Uh, must be a short in the cord somewhere. Oh, there might be. It's brand new. There better not be a short. But you know what? I have my camera is set up wonky, and I think that I have to fix it. Um, what? She says. Um, all right. Well, if you guys want to stick around for a minute, let's let's play with it for a second. I'll show you. Uh, let me plug it in, and let me see if I can find a die cut. How about? A couple little hearts here. We'll just play with hearts. Why not? Yay! She says. <laughs> Read my last comment. Okay, Don, uh, can you read my last comment? Oh, oh, yes, I will try. Hold on. Let me go back. Uh, I want to learn embossing. I have a bunch of stuff. I just don't know how to use it. <gasps> All right, let's do that. Let's do that then. Let's do this real quick, okay? I can feel this little guy getting hot already. So let me get out my stuff. All right. So, Kelly, I know you must have. Let me see. I got to put my camera back on. Okay. How's that? Uh, okay. So, Kelly, I know I'm pretty sure I heard you say you have this like clear watermark um, ink pad, right? It's called Versamark, or it might just say clear embossing pad. It's like a watermark pad. Embossing is magical. It is the least. It is. She's going to, she's going to, she's going to fall down the rabbit hole too. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do when you're embossing is you want to, if, if it's a stamp, like you can take your stamps on your acrylic blocks and you can do the same thing. You can put them on a block, you know, stamp them, stamp them into this watermark pad and then stamp them on your paper or your wooden item or whatever you want to take care, um, take care of that. And you're going to dampen it. So you can kind of see it's wet, kind of wet. See how it's shiny wet from that? Okay. It's my paper. Let's go with something pretty like this pink. Or, oh, wait a minute. Let's use... Black. What's the other? This one. Uh, I guess I'll use pink on this one. I use pink on this one. <clears throat> oh. All right. Then you're going to take your powder and you're going to pour it over it. 
because that is sticky, it's like got glycerin in it. All this embossing powder is going to stick wherever this white stuff is. When you're doing something like words or intricate things, I'm not so concerned on this because I want to cover the whole surface. But when you are doing something different, you might want to take a little puff or they make these little tools. This is one of them. It has like a cornstarchy type powder in it, but you can use regular cornstarch or whatever. But you would dust your surface so that it gets rid of all the oils and any any residue that might cause this powder to stick to it where you don't want it to stick. So um, so if I was doing like, um, you know, so, some words on a piece of paper, I would take and rub that powder over the paper. Then I would ink up my stamp and stamp it on there. The, the, the watermark pad will stick even though the powder is on there. And then when you pour this powder over it and you shake it off, it should only stick where you put the stamped image, okay? Or wherever you put the Versamark ink. So here's this. Normally, I know you have one of these, the heat, good old heat tool, right? You would heat this up. You'd heat it, heat it, heat it, and you'll see there's a change that happens. I don't have my tool plugged in and I'm I'm showing this so I'm just going to stick it in here because this little pancake maker and this might benefit you too Kelly <laughs> we'll we'll bring you down the rabbit hole with us this prevents any kind of stuff blowing around any kind of extra extra you just stick it in there on that piece of parchment and the heat that it's sitting on and the heat from the surface the, t the other side the top side is going to melt that powder yes make sure you're using embossing powders and not glitter some embossing powders have glitter but pure glitter won't work correct delise and this is called embossing tinsel you can get the the powders that have tinsel in the name or sparkle or anything like that sometimes most of the time those have i turn this light on have glitter i'm going to do another one though and i'm going to plug in my heat tool so that i can show her the heat tool and we'll do this art in just a plain gold oh so let me see if we can i'm going to check that oh look at that it is done. So I'm gonna let it cool for a minute and look at that. Now we have a pink sparkly, let me bring this down, heart. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this. And I'm going to do it so that you can watch it change on camera. So once again, I'm pushing this die cut into uh, the watermark. making sure my tool is on, plugged in. All right, pull this off, close that. Cover it with embossing powder. So can you see what that looks like? It's kind of just looks like it's powder coated, right? It's kind of dull and powdery looking and blah, blah, and not very pretty. I mean, it is, but it isn't. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna turn the old maid into a princess. Did you lose sound again? Black sand, kind of yeah, black sand. All right. I don't want my fingers getting 
burned. So I'm going to hold this with tweezers and hopefully I can find the right angle so that you can see this. I'm going to heat my tool up. I usually put it on the inside of my wrist. And let's see if we can do this. I'm going to put the heat tool up against. like that we have it looks like it's a gold foiled heart Ta-da! it's like magic like this oh well Janine you're gonna have to pull those pull those out, <laughs> pull out those uh, embossing powders because I have some like that too. So I'm going to show you, this is kind of what I did. This is a little bit flimsier of paper, but I'm gonna try it just so that you guys can see. with the pancake maker. I'm going to use the gold that we just used and some red. Going to sprinkle it on here, there. Grab a little gold. I had so much fun doing this last night. I kept saying, this is the last one I'm going to try. I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. And then I would do another one. I'm like, oh my gosh, let me try this. And then I did another one and another one. Hence the reason I got a little pile here because I just kept going. I was like, oh. Finally, I was like, this has got to stop. <laughs> and I think I'm going to add some of this gold with the glitter. Hey, Troy. How you doing, buddy? I was looking for you earlier. Um, and I love the pancake maker. Um, I ordered mine on Amazon, but I did, I did see that they have them at Walmart for $10 and they were $10 on Amazon. So, you know, take your pick. I have prime, so it got here the next day. So I was like, okay with that. I didn't have to go anywhere because after all the driving that I had done, I was like, yeah, I'm not. So I'm going to try that, see what happens. So I added the gold glitter, the gold and some red. And I feel like I'm going to need more red, but I'm going to let it sit for a minute. It is hot. Guys, I made a coffee before my live. I went to the bathroom and I was like, oh shoot, I have five minutes. I got to get up there and get stuff picked out and picked it, you know, picked up and set out. And before I knew it, it was seven o'clock and I forgot to run back down and get my coffee. Fell asleep in your chair. Oh, you must have needed the rest. All right, I'm going to take a peek. Ooh, I'm taking a peek. Oh, and that's another thing. I use my tools <laughs> from my other uh, things. This is my Cricut tool. And it's like a little pancake here. Yeah, I'm going to need some more red. And then to add a little glassy finish on the top, I have oh, I have a little um, container full of the ultra thick embossing enamel, which is basically just ultra thick, like coarse, um, clear embossing powder.
Now I have to get a little container to put all my little bits that I like break apart or don't use or the stuff that I pull off of the parchment because I did notice that it does come off of the iron because it is Teflon, but this is good measure to not build it up by using the little parchment uh, pieces. And you can remelt these. You just, the solid pieces that might come off of things. So I need to get a little container to put those in. So we're gonna try that because then I'm going to take my pokey tool. Well, you know, this came with a recipe book, Janine, and it showed them making eggs in it. They did a, um, they grilled an English muffin, they grilled um, a sausage patty, and they made an egg in it. <laughs> so, oh, this was one of my purchases I got. It's a, a spinner ring, like for anxiety. It's a fidget. So, yeah. Gotta run. Feel honored to have been part of Crescent with introduction to embossing. <laughs> Thank you for being here, Delise. I appreciate it. We'll see you later. Yeah, I, I bet it's the same, too. Oh, all right. This is beautiful. So I got a nice thick enamel on there. And I'm going to try to see if I can do a little bit of marbling or a little move that red around a little bit. Maybe I'll do some plain gold on the top. That's what I wanted. It's gonna sit right on the top of that. I wish the lighting was better. Can you guys see that a little better? And I noticed too that you can just do this give it a little press on your paper and once it dries it the enamel will just flick right off of whatever it is that you're whatever it's stuck to want some more around the edges oh my gosh you guys so while we were gone we don't have like atd security or anything <laughs> so willie put up a game cam so that he can kind of just, you know, keep an eye on the house. <sighs> well, we had another one, but apparently we lost weather, uh, lost power and stuff with the 20 inches of snow that we got that we missed out on. But now we got, hey, Jay, um, yeah, I'm making magical pancakes. And um, so it knocked one completely out. <clears throat> well, the other one... <laughs> I don't know what happened to that one, if the snow, if it froze and it killed the battery or what, but we got all the time except for the last couple of days, but he had me going through the, all the video things and I was like, well, everything looks clear. All I got was a bunch of chickens. My neighbor's chickens came to visit and a big fat raccoon and a couple of skunks. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it is. Getting lots and lots of love. All right. I'm going to plug that out too. Oh, my biggest thing has been if you have long hair, tie your hair back. If not, you're going to enamel it. <laughs> so <laughs> tie your hair back. Give it a second to dry, but do you see what happened here? glass. I'm hoping it's still a little hot, but you can kind of turn the parchment peel it right off the back. And this was a, like a thin piece of paper too. It wasn't even cardstock.
Yeah, gold flakes would be fun. And I thought like um, all the little bits we put in shaker cards, some of the more flat ones would look fun suspended in the ultra thick. What do you think, T? Yes, I remember the skunks, Troy. You missed my slideshow. You're going to have to go back and watch. <laughs> oh, I have a little spider. I bet you could. Well, Jim was telling me last night because he's like, you can take these blobs that you have and cut them because, you know, Pretty much, if you get enough of the ultra thick, it's kind of flexible, as you can see as it's drying. I should probably flip it over and put something on it, like, or just stick something on it. But, um, or I can use one of my acrylic blocks. Um, he said, cut them down. And if I had like a little, um, what do they call those that you put, a uh, be bezel or, uh, you know, things that you make jewelry use for jewelry he's like he said these would look cool if they were cut down and shaped to put um i know jen but guess what we can't eat the art supplies i love that all the crafters want to eat their stuff though i do too I know. I was thinking of that. Uh, Jim asked last night, are you using embossing powder or the shrink plastic? And I was like, oh, I haven't I haven't pulled the shrink plastic out, but I'm thinking that sounds like a fun thing to do this this weekend or this week. But so there you have it. This pretty little uh, yeah, I do think you could add mica powder. I have mica powder. I got out my um uh, what you call it this this last night all my um little perfect pearls oh yeah i think that your imagination is yeah is the limit i mean um i can see where the the you can't really see it in this but maybe if i hold it super close but i don't know how but i can see the depth in just this um with the gold embossing powder you know, it, it kind of sits on the top. So, really neat. But, yeah. So, that's that. <laughs> the eye candy. I know. I know. But it does look, I mean, I do want to take a bite out of it, Elizabeth. I'm sorry. <sighs> Especially this green one. Look at this green one, Elizabeth. It just looks like a green... I don't know. It's like, ah, oh, it's just, it looks like some kind of geode or something. Um, the inks that come with my stuff is colored inks. Okay, well, um, if you have, does it say, um, is it pigment ink? If it's pigment ink, it means it stays wet for a little bit, Kelly. And if it stays wet for a little bit, um, it, it will hold your, powder thank you pam thank you for the hugs hugs back and you're welcome i'm glad to be here i'm glad to be back on back on the tube all my friends and family youtube family i have to watch from the beginning yes yes so there you go so yes you can use your use your pigment inks and then use your powders you know over them it will cover the ink if it's you know a, a not clear powder but yeah read my last comment for a laugh uh oh okay let me go back up i'm having an issue with um trying to go back and forth with my for a laugh i was five once and opened my paint with my teeth and guess what went in my mouth oh no <laughs> Paste. 
I remember trying the paste in kindergarten and probably first grade too. Maybe that's why I still remember. I don't know, but <laughs> remember that paste with the stick? I don't know what it was, but I just thought I had to taste it every time I used it. Horrible. <laughs> live, not five. Oh, live. Oh, live. Oh my gosh, Jen. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, I just, because I thought it said five, now I'm telling you what I did when I was five. Ate the paste. That's what's wrong with me. Ate the paste. So anyway, I appreciate you guys coming and sharing in my little travel, um, my, my condensed um, version of my trip, <laughs> my show and tell. <laughs> And then um, seeing what I have coming and some things that I'm going to do with all of my little goodies that I have. I haven't even had a chance to use any of my stamps yet from Stamps of Life. I just, I don't know, I just was in a funk and then I got busy. And now I feel like, you know what, Dawn? Got to get her done. So, but yeah. Also, you guys, on my community tab, there's... um. There's a video, there's a post I put up that's got a video on it. And the video is of um, Troy's cousin, uh, Rick, who is the person that I contacted when I was trying to find Troy when his mom got sick. So um, he's the one that connected the two of us together, which I thought was really cool. But he's trying to build up his channel. And uh, um he's also very talented and he sends a great message in the song that he sings the video that he put together um and i like i said i shared it on my community tab so if you guys want to check it out it really um it really says a lot and it kind of resonated with me after everything with this whole trip thing and the being grateful for stuff and just remembering that it's not too late to do things um and make changes and all that stuff so you're welcome, Kelly. You're welcome, Jen. <laughs> and yes, Janine, it is addicting. So, but I thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys um, throughout the week, all the people that go live. Um, yeah, let me put my face back up. Everyone that's going live, I'm trying to get back on the schedule. Mommy Lala is going live every day in April. She does CETA, which is crafting every day in April. And she's been going live in the morning. Um, so I, it's morning for us in the US, um, which is nighttime for her. So um, she's been going on. Yes, yes. He has a band and has put out a new album. But um, so check out Mommy Lala. Um, it's Tuesday. So uh, Elizabeth's lives tomorrow. Elizabeth is live tomorrow. T is live on Thursday. And hopefully I'm live with T on Friday morning. Yay, finally. So, um, yeah, so that's that's that. And then next week, um, Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, I will be live with Art Yahtzee. And so if you'll be back on Friday. Yeah, I'll be back Friday, Friday morning, right, T? I hope. <laughs> I stood her up for a whole month for T. I'm sorry, T. Take me back. Take me back, please. Um. So um, next week is Art Yahtzee. So anybody that's interested that wants to play along um, on this side of the camera, um, I would love to have some guests. So um, if so, shoot me a message somewhere, email, however you want to do it. I've gotten better about keeping track of that stuff. So anyone who wants to do it, Janine, I know you love Art Yahtzee. And there's card Yahtzee now too. So that's on the last uh, Tuesday of the month. So, yay. So anyway, that's that's it in a nutshell. I think that I hit everyone between now and then. And Troy is gonna work with me on getting his channel set up so he can start his YouTube channel so he can get artsy. And there was something in my bin I was supposed to show you guys that I, I'll just have to show you next time. I'll have to do a pop-up. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. Thanks for dropping by. I'll see you soon. Bye.